Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Hey, y'all, your girl is back with another moop bang. <sighs> y'all, I know it's been a minute, and I know that I do not do very many moop bangs, but don't worry. Your girl got some stuff coming your way. So I just wanted to join you all tonight for uh, just to have a quick meal. I know it's, you know, been a while. I've been doing mostly my ice ASMRs, but we're going to get into some other things. But I'm just so happy to see you all. And um, I hope you all had a great day today. Um, so let me talk about what we have tonight. So we're going to, we're having, I made some steamed broccoli with some chicken breast and a baked potato with just butter and sour cream. Um, I just wanted to make something really quick, something I could just put in the oven and pop on the stove real quick. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have tonight. And y'all, I'm so hungry. So I'm just gonna take some bites. Oh, before I do, Lord have mercy, Jesus forgive me. Let's bless the food. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father God, for this food that we are about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, for those who do not have food to eat. Lord God, I thank you for my subscribers. I thank you for every person who viewed this video, watched this video, God. May you bless them, Lord God, and may their lives be blessed according to your perfect will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all have to forgive me. I'm a little tired. I'm just really drained and tired. But like I always tell y'all, I won't complain. I have a lot of things on my heart that I want to talk about. And it's nothing negative or bad or wrong or anything like that, but I just want to bring some perspective to a few things. But before we do, I just want to take a few bites. I hope you all had a great day today. I <clears throat> hope it was productive. I hope, you know, it wasn't too stressful. I hope your families were safe. What are y'all having for dinner tonight? Or what did you have for dinner tonight or for lunch today? Comment below and let me know if y'all did any homemade cooking or if you were able to make anything tonight or if you had to go out to eat or... How did things work out for you? <clears throat> I remember y'all growing up. And to be honest, we didn't even really do it a whole lot as a family. But I remember when it was very important to sit down together as a family to eat. You know, because when I was growing up, I don't recall very many moments like that. I mean, we would all get our food at the same time, but as far as sitting down at the table, Together and eating. We didn't do that. What we would do. And what I do remember. Um, and. Sometimes my, my brother and my sister. 
and I would, we would all sit down at the table and eat. But my mom and my dad, they would go back in their room and eat or go to another location of the house. And, and, you know, but I don't recall too many times just coming together as a family to sit down and eat together. Now, of course, for the holidays and and Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff like that, you know, we would all eat together. But not for a typical family dinner, we didn't. And I just think that that's so valuable I think it's so necessary for families to, to 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 come together and eat together and have discussions and talk about things and you know spend time together because you know we grind so much you know things are so different now you know our children go through so many different things now. The job market is different. You know, you know, parents are working a lot harder to to take care of their families. And, you know, a lot has changed, you know. Not for everybody, but for some people. It's just water. You know, and um, I just think that, you know, the family value, you know, it's important to keep that, you know, to sit down and eat with your family and have a meal and and talk to one another and bond. Yeah, we're going to do that like we used to. And I know... Some people still do. And some people still make that a priority. And I think that's wonderful. Um, if you still sit down and have meals with your family at the table, comment below and let me know. And if you do, what are some of the things that you talk about and discuss as a family when, when you sit down together? I'm just interested because it seems like a lot of things will come out and you can find out a lot of things about one another when you have that that quality time together. You know? It's important. You know, being in this world And in this society, you know, our values have changed a lot. And I'm including myself, you know, I'm not talking about everybody else except me and me too, you know. And obviously things are moving at a faster pace. We get things quicker now, we get things faster now. You know, and we're not going to even talk about social media and all of the the things and all of that, you know, all of the things that happens with social media and all of that because, yeah, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject in itself, but yeah, so, yeah, I'm just having some lighthearted conversation um, you know, just chilling, you know, just wanted to come on here and just spend some time with you guys, 
for a little bit. And, um, just chop it up a little bit for y'all. I wanted to check in on you and see how you're doing. Um, but, um, yeah, y'all, we don't sit down as families like we used to. And another thing that's been so disheartening to me is, um, all of the bullying that's been going on with, you know, with our children, you know? I mean, we got babies taking their own life and killing themselves because they're being bullied at school. And it's the most sickening and saddest thing to hear. And it breaks my heart, y'all. And I pray for these babies. And for families and, you know, for the school system. You know, every component, you know. And, y'all, we have to come together. And we have to continue to pray for our kids, you know. And we have to pray for the environment. And pray for these babies and these kids because it, it's it's just... It's just so sad, you know. And these kids are smart, you know. They know how to get on social media. You know, they know how to contact other kids besides their school to bully them. It doesn't necessarily have to take place at school. I'm sure that's probably where the majority of it is and where it starts, but I know it doesn't end there. It's probably a continuous thing, you know. I was watching something, or... I had so something I was looking at on my phone, and I was a family where the little boy was thrown off the back of the bus, and he was a little bitty thing, and somebody bullied him and threw him off the back of the bus, like opened up the emergency door on the back of the bus and threw him out of the bus. And the little boy ended up being in, um, he had a concussion. He was in ICU for like a week. I mean, I don't know the uh, totality of all of the um, injuries that he had. Um, but it, I mean, it was just so sad and the, the, the father was being interviewed and he basically packed his family up and left. He was like, I can't send my, my kids to school. My kids begged me to keep, to, to make them stay or let them stay home from school. And it's just so disheartening. It really, really is. And I don't know how I would feel or what I would do as a parent if I came home or got a call saying that my kids been thrown off the back of the bus. I mean, the little boy could have died instantly. What if it was a car, you know, behind the bus? I don't know. And thank God the little boy's recovering and he's doing better. And, you know, he's up and talking and seems to be himself. But I don't know, y'all. That's just tough. You know, and I know as parents, we try to do our best to cover our kids and and take care of them, but we have to incorporate prayer and we have to lead our households. And I know prayer, I'm, when I say we got to pray for our kids, Y'all, because prayer I'm sorry, I wanted to finish showing my food. <clears throat> prayer definitely puts things in God's hands, you know? And we are not just dealing with 
um, what we see every day with our naked eye, there's another whole other realm that we don't know about. And I'm not trying to get deep that will cause a person and, you know, mess with a person's mind to make them do something evil like that. So when we, when I say we have to pray, we need God's power to really, really intervene. And we need to make those petitions known to God so that we can pray for our kids, you know, because they are really truly suffering, you know, I really are. And I don't know what's going on with these bullies and and what's happening in their homes, but we have to pray for them as well, you know. And it's just so sad, you know. And I'm not here to bring doom and gloom or anything like that. I'm just chopping it up with y'all a little bit. Because these are some of the things that's on my mind sometimes. That I think about a lot. And I just wanted to share my thoughts with you all and my feelings and just sit down and have a meal with y'all. And do y'all know, this is another point I wanted to make. When I come on here and I do these mukbangs and I have a meal to share with y'all. I know a lot of times when people do mukbangs, you know, they may have these great big meals. And I think that's great, you know I mean? To each his own. Everybody's platform is different. And I'm not knocking it because I, I'm going to do some things where I have a great big meal myself. But then there are also times when I'm just going to have a conversation and it may not be a whole bunch of food or whatever. But... However, whatever the case may be, I always want to make sure that I'm thinking about somebody else because there's so many people, y'all, who are lonely. They don't have anybody to talk to. They don't have anybody to communicate with. And they look forward to, t- to tuning in to some of these mukbangs and sitting down with us and just enjoying the meal. There's some people who don't have family and they don't have anybody to eat with. They don't have anybody to talk to. And they look forward to these uploads and these videos because they enjoy them and they enjoy the conversation. You know, people dialogue in their comments. And I've had people to tell me on my other videos that, you know, they look forward to seeing seeing certain videos and they appreciate certain content and things like that. So, you know, it's not about always presenting the food. I know that's typically what mukbangers do. You know, they present a a variety of food and um, they do challenges and, um, you know, food brings people together. You know, uh, it does. And, you know, it's mukbang and being a mukbanger is fun. Um, you can, you know, people like to try different types of food and they like to travel and, um, you know, every, you know, you all who watch, you know, mukbangers, you all know what it's about, but you also know that everybody has a different platform as mukbangers, you know, when they sit down, some people bring you into their homes and they sit down with their families. Like I love Lady T Sensation. Um, when she sits down with her mom every Sunday and they have a meal and her mom just cooks and her, um, her, her husband, I think, and her family, and they just sit down and they talk and they bring you into their home and they, you know, and she, she's, I really, really like her. She's a believer. Um, she talks about the Lord. I think she even started a new channel where she actually has Bible study. Um, so people branch off from their mukbang channels and to other um, platforms and their followers go with them when they do. And so, you know, um, initially this might be the way a person starts out, um, you know, with getting subscribers and, you know, getting to know their audience, but then it can branch off into other things. So I just want to be a support to people who wants to have a meal, um, and talk to someone, but they don't have anybody. And I also want to spread the message of Jesus Christ. And this may seem like an orthodox way to do it, but this is what is in my heart to do. And I may not get a lot of subscribers when I do my book bags because I don't 
present a whole heap of food and um you know my personality may not be like another mukbanger's personality and that's absolutely okay you know you have to be yourself you have to be comfortable uh in your own skin and you have to be able to do the things that feels right to you you know i try to make the right decisions and do things you know um according to the will of God and I'm not perfect and I don't make all the right choices and I probably someone could look at this video and think that it's the most silliest thing in the world and say oh wow you know she's a big girl you know she's already you know big why are you eating all this food and it's not just about the food you know and the thing is okay so I'm eating on camera but there's a whole lot of people that eat um overeat or eat certain things but they're just not on camera they don't expose what they eat i choose to be transparent about my life i choose to be real about what i do i choose to share my life i choose to open up my life and let people in and see what i'm all about you know i don't i don't want to pretend like you know i'm somebody that i'm not you know and you know my mukbangs are going to be different you know, some of them, I'm not going to have these kind of conversations. I'm just going to have straight challenges where I may have somebody else on my channel with me to do a, a, a maybe like the burping challenge. And somebody might think that's foolish. Why would you be on camera drinking soda belching? That's not that. What, how does God get the glory in that? How does God get involved in that? Well, you know, this is what I this is what I say to that. You know, it may not be biblical to do. And it may not be um, in somebody else's mind a purposeful thing to do. But I look at it like it's fun, in my opinion. It might be silly, but it's fun. And um, it brings laughter, you know. Um, you know, and it's a, it's kind of like a mukbang community thing, you know. And I may or may not do it. I don't know. I'm just using that as an example. Um, but I'm going to be true to who I am and, and I, and I, and, and, and if God needs to deal with me on something and say, you know what, maybe you need to tweak this or tweak that or whatever like that. I pray to God that my heart is open and that I'll hear God and I'll do it his way. You know, um, we do do foolish things as human beings. I'm not perfect. I don't always say the right thing, do the right thing. I may make mistakes. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm going to always try to seek God and do it his way. And I pray that, you know, I can put a smile on your face. Um, um, I pray that, you know, I hope that I bring um, hope and, and, and encouragement to people. And, um, you know, y'all, I'm this is I'm, this is trial and error for me. You know, um, I'm not going to always do things the way people think that I should do them. And my videos are open. My videos are public. I'm, it's not private. I'm not hiding anything. And I know that people are watching my videos and they're sharing them and they're telling other people, did you know that Latifah show, um, Latifah had a, had a, um, a YouTube channel and they're sharing my videos and they're telling people to watch my videos. And that's perfectly okay because I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not. I'm trying to spread love. I'm trying to spread joy. I, I tell people about the Lord. When I did my very first video, I made it very clear that I am a believer of Jesus Christ. And most of my content and a lot of my content would be about the Lord. And it may not be the way that someone else will present Jesus, but this is the way that I choose to do it. And, and like I said, it may not be the same way every time. You know, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I pray about things. Some things I don't pray about. Some things sometimes I just talk. And it may not be about God at all. It may just be about something that happened or just to check on you guys to see how you all are doing and um, for you all to leave comments about how your day was and just to tell people that you love them. Somebody does not be, has not been told that they are loved. And if you are out there and you have not been told that you are loved and that someone loves you, I want to tell you that I love you with the love of the Lord, that I am here. I am not perfect. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any, I'm not a psychologist or anything like that. I'm just a human being who is trying to do things the way that God wants me to do and trying to spread love. That's all I'm trying to do. And I just want to let anybody know who's thinking about committing suicide. If, if there's anyone who is cutting themselves, if there's anyone who's dealing with depression or anything like that, listen, people go through things all of the time. 
Okay. And, and I'm, and I, and I have to say it candidly like this, Jesus Christ is the way he is the truth and he is the life. And what I mean by that is in him, there is no failure. He is, we are totally complete in, in, in Christ. And I know sometimes some of our problems and our issues, you know, you know, it may seem like God, can, God himself can't fix it. We have to exercise our human will to work with God. And if we can do that, we're on the right track. So I encourage anybody to not give up and to give God a try. And if you don't know how to, just call on him. Just say, Lord, I love you. I need help. You know, he's there. He hears you. And I'm not on here to preach or anything. I'm here to share a meal with you guys, to bring comfort, to tell you all that I love you, to put a smile on your face, to be silly, to have a good time. Um, We're human, you know. And so I'm just being me. And I don't, I don't want to be anybody else but me. And if being me is wrong, then I'll let God deal with me about what I need to do different. So, but there's no ill intent. It's not to promote gluttony or um, anything unhealthy. Because I could do this off camera. And, and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be condescending or smart or disrespectful in any way. Um... But I'm just being myself, you know, and so, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. This video was, is getting long and I didn't want it to go beyond, you know, like 20, 25 minutes. And now, so I'm going to, um, cut this video short and I'm going to come back with another meal. Um, I'm, I'm going to try, I bought some fresh vegetables and so I'm going to probably like do some squash and some zucchini and some bell peppers and yellow and um, green peppers, and um, I'm I'm also got a um, um, some a roast sort of like um, I think it's a roast in a crock pot with some potatoes and so yeah so and then like I said I'm gonna have some some other surprises on my ASMR channel which is my ice channel when I chew ice and somebody may say well why are you on camera chewing ice how is that purposeful how is that doing anything for the kingdom of God. Well, it probably isn't, but the reason why I do it is because I enjoy eating ice and you know how when people go to sleep at night and they may, um, go onto like Google, um, rainfall or, um, some kind of, um, music to listen to, to help them go to sleep. Um, chewing ice is comfort for people. It's, com it's comfort for me. And I think it's fun. Somebody might think it's the dumbest thing in the world to do. The stupidest thing ever to do. Could be. And when I come to that, if I ever come to that conclusion that it's stupid or that it's not a good thing, then I'll stop. I just think it's a cool thing. I love, I, I've been chewing ice all my life. It's probably, I, ain't probably, it's not good for my teeth or anything like that. It's not, a, it's not a good habit or anything like that. Um, again, I'm not perfect. I don't do everything right. I don't, I don't, I don't make the right choices all the time. And I'm not, I'm not proud of that or saying that in a, in a, in a condescending way, you know, in life, you learn a lot of things, and some people learn things a lot faster than others. And one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to make a person feel like, even if a person is wrong about something, I don't want to make them feel like um, they've committed a federal crime. You know, I believe in talking about things and discussing things. Um, in a manner to where you bring understanding and, and even if you feel like a person should have understanding and, and they don't, and they just won't get it and they don't get it and they should have gotten it. If you got it, then keep striving with people, you know, um, talk, sit down and talk to people and have conversations with people about how you feel, um, you know, don't, don't give people, don't put position, people in a position where they can feel something coming from you when they don't really understand why, you know? Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because, um, uh, you know, you get certain comments and, you know, there are people that ask me questions when I tell them about my channel, 
Um, and they'll say, well, what's the ASMR? What is ice chewing? Why do you, why do you do that? You know, and people just want to know. They're not trying to be mean or disrespectful. They just want to know what's the purpose of that? What, what are you doing that for? What is that about? Cause I enjoy it. That's it. It's something I enjoy. That's it. Um, so yeah, and I'm just being, that's just the God's honest truth. So y'all, this video is getting ready to go beyond 30 minutes. So we'll come back again. I love you all. And I pray that you all have a great evening and I look forward to our next, um, meeting room. Um, and, um, we'll talk later. All right. Love you guys.